Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Neil, and it's time for the next episode of Taskmaster, which has just dropped on YouTube. I'm excited to jump right into it. I don't really have anything to say leading into the episode, so why waste time? Let's just get right into episode 6, series 11 of Taskmaster. They've been building this episode up on Twitter, saying something happens that leaves leaves everyone absolutely speechless. So it'll be interesting to see what the novelty is this time. And a chance to win a trophy that I can tell you from personal experience does not pique interest on eBay. I'd pay 10 bucks to buy a secondhand uh, golden head. I was thinking about old holidays and I brought a couple of photos. Are we at the stage where I can show you holiday photos? Yeah. After 11 <laughs> series that are at that stage. That is genuinely it for this section. <laughs> some old photos in to show me. Yeah. And I was tipped off just before, so I've um, got one of my family photos to show Alex. <laughs> so that's nice. That's that. Whatever. What was it? What was it? I don't think that was a family photo based on uh, Alex's reaction. I hate them all. They're the most annoying thing. We can hear the noises if you want. This is what they all sound like. Oh, together. no. Now we're talking. This might make them gen. That would be ter- oh. The combo is so horrible. So you're bringing in the concept of being woken up. Yeah, yeah, and the con well, I mean, the concept of sort of time endlessly going on and having to continually wake up. <laughs> so life, mostly life, is so annoying. Michael, uh, I've brought in a symbolic nipple. Here is the symbolic nipple. Wozniak is so freaking weird. So if I put my, if I walk past you with my thumb like this, you'd be, be on, on it. it. I'd be on it, I guess. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Like a rat up a kilt. <laughs> Is that a saying? Like a rat up a kilt? Scottish saying. <laughs> it should be a saying. That's a great line. A, like a rat up a kilt. Because of a, a shared dislike of children being free to express themselves, <laughs> Jamali takes five sweet points. Well done, Jamali. Wow. Just goes to show it really depends on finding the thing that, the that Greg agrees with the most, right, doesn't it? Because I would have put the face paint at the wind. bottom. Have a seat. Welcome on board. Thank you, Alex. Hello. I just found out Alex is six foot two, so no wonder he has to stoop in the little private jet. Fart. Fartest wins. Your time starts now. Fastest fart wins? Oh, I think we're getting into a uh, opening segment shot here. I recall seeing Wozniak on his head here in the plane. I'd, I'd be like asking for some you could do this. some chili. <laughs> what on right. earth? Well, occasionally in this show, we have set tasks just to one. Oh, that's awesome! Yeah. I was just about to ask if that was a just a mic task. Do you know me about this task? I've always got one in the bank ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> so we will keep an eye on his fart brewing throughout the episode. Oh, well, well, that's a nice little that, interlude. Yeah. yeah. Hello, Jamali. Hey. Did he choose to there? wear the jumpsuit, or is that? Uh, Oh no, they, they've been Thank given you. the jumpsuits. Okay. Make the best portrait of the Taskmaster on this door only using your feet. You have Paint with your feet. I mean, I'm not taking my shoes off for anybody. <laughs> Alright. I'd, I'd take my shoes off and start painting with the soles of my feet. Whoa! <laughs> not bad. But the twist is you have to use your feet. That's the task. Paint a picture, but with your feet. Okay, simple as that. No hidden catch. So Your at least a few people are disqualified based on that. So anyway, here is Lee Mack all by himself. No. Okay, just feet. You've, you've broken the just feet rule at this point. Okay, I think you'll be pleased with me. Right. Oh, Lee. I think I've done well. You you so lost track. <laughs> this is his picture of you. Commitment to the cause, but ignoring the rules completely. Molly's making such a mess. What a mess. Oh, jeez, Jamali. Uh, oh, that's very Greg. Just making a pink color. Mike and the, the lady seem to be doing uh, quite well. What a Jackson Pollock disaster going on here. Charlotte would be having an easier time if she took her, shoot her boots off. What else goes on ahead? What else goes on ahead? I feel like Charlotte's gonna break an ankle. Hopefully, give him some stripy thorax. 
a stripey thorax. Just like it. Jeez, Jamali. Oh. Let's say about the caravan. It's not just the caravan in the end, but thank you. Jeez, what a disaster. So bear in mind, he said, he's trying to represent the sternness in the eyebrows, kissable lips, not an unattractive man. <laughs> <laughs> it's Bozo the Clown. See, Jamali said it was so good you could take it to a gallery and sell this. <laughs> Here it is. <laughs> Energy. I like that. Oh, God. It is expressive and violent. What genuinely, hand on heart, if I wanted people to see an artistic Jamali's, representation of me, I would Jamali's choose Jamali's. five points. Five points. <laughs> wow. Somehow Jamali's in the lead so far. I do have a scoreboard. And, and his don't Not give a f attitude oh. is somehow paying uh, off. At the other end, Jamali Maddox is on. I'm a little uh, flabbergasted. Read it. They can read it. Sure. Suddenly they're in jumpsuits. This is like jumpsuit Vandalize day. Vandalize this wall. Most creative vandalism wins. You have 20 minutes. Your time starts now. I feel like Jamali just uh, vandalized a door. Oh. <laughs> Man, trying to fart. I feel like you're really walking that fine line where you may accidentally yourself. So there, there's just violent destruction on one side and art here. Something offensive, what are they gonna write? Can, can I just point out, it was Mike that wrote Street Tough and not me. <laughs> I want to do so myself. In a nice cursive <laughs> script. That's not me. That's my sweet tag. You, you went just... far more Banksy. It's going to be on t-shirts, that thing. There was only one piece of creative vandalism. I'd pay for a, these a Wozniak spray paint <laughs> t-shirt. give them five sweet points each. Whoa. Nice. So one point to Sarah, one to Jamal. Only one. One to Charlotte. Wow. Five to the naughty creative middle-aged man. Yes, please. Yes. You really do need to appeal to Greg to get the points, don't you? Sometimes it's just a matter of timing, but when judging matters, it's all about Greg's eccentricities. What do we have here? A bunch of donuts? Identify the contents of the battered items in oh. this fish and chips order. It's like find and out what's in the pie from a few seasons ago. Or you may not break them apart. You may bite into two. Oh. You may squeeze one. Bet oh, between your elbows. Between your elbows. You may really stamp on one. You may put one in a glass of water. Side note, I think I can manage my previous challenge. A lot challenge. of rules. I'm on, scared on, it on off. the stamping mat? On the stamping oh, mat. Oh, is he still not oh, no, I've scared it off. I've scared it off. You could sniff everything. It smells of batter. Oh. Yeah. It smells of batter. They're battered items. Mm. 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 like a... something solid. <laughs> Oh, Something inedible. What the hell is, is it a that? book? Hang on, that's a wallet. <laughs> <laughs> it's a wallet. It's a wallet. It's a wallet. I'm 99% I'm that I'm not the full vegan yet because I keep. I, I'll, I'll lick a wallet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, most vegans would. Especially if they're plastic. It's a wallet with a receipt. Oh, here we go. In the batter, there's uh, an apple and blackberry pie, a boiled egg. Key no! A great individual in the wallet. That's what's in all of these. Thank you, Jamali. All right. Then. Just like that. <laughs> oh, man. Jamali's like destroying on this episode. But mainly, it's five points to Jamali Maddox. Jamali's just running away with this episode. Good for him. Nothing else you able to do at this stage? Well, if I, I mean, I, maybe if I have a moment. I mean, it must be possible, right? I feel like batter's got to help. Changed. Changed. The drama. He's like some real effort. Is he going to <laughs> himself? <laughs> don't, don't poop yourself, Mike. Not very satisfying. Yeah, quite a long wait for that. And I think I probably need to check myself. Anyway, so I'll, I'll see you later. <laughs> You've clearly shut yourself. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what I thought. What, it, what in fact I had done is I'd uh, dislodged a uh, hemorrhoid that had been... Uh, no! Oh, God. Oh, God. oh, oh no! That's what you're hearing. Oh, 
God. You're hearing that moving through my anal canal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear God. And, uh, That's a hemorrhoid popping out. And back out into the outside. Oh, oh. The loom. <laughs> poor Mike. It's still flapping about to this day. Oh, dear. It's still loose. Oh, it's Months later. casserole down there. <laughs> Absolute casserole. Oh my god, I this has to be the moment they were building too. This is disastrous. You do the task. You do the task. I love his commitment to the cause, but oh my god. Well done, Wozniak. Oh, that's amazing. Greg, do you want to give him a Point at all. Cheap. You have to Something give Wozniak some hemorrhoid no points. <laughs> no one's going to begrudge him a bonus point. How many are oh, we giving him? No. Just one. One. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So one hemorrhoid and one point to yeah. Mike Wozniak. Yeah. Oh, one point for every hemorrhoid. Please make your way to the stage for the final task of the show. Tie the very ends of the string to the arms of the glasses, then put the glasses on. Fastest wins. Simple the task. very end of the string. You've got a padlock there with four numbers. You've got to crack the code. Good luck. Could you give us a clue, please, Taskmaster? M C M L X V I I I. He loves his Roman numerals. Nineteen. One hundred twenty-three times sixteen. Oh, is that real or are you joking? One hundred twenty-three times. Year I was born. Nineteen sixty-nine. Maths. <laughs> she was trying so hard in her head. I'm 52. So let's go back. 1969. Jamal, he's just destroying. The, the, the man has been stomping in four of five competitions this, this episode. Jamali genuinely stomped in at least four of the competitions this week. Sometimes it paid off. Three times it paid off. No, 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 twice, because they, 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 they didn't do well on the vandalism, did they? Jamali is still in the lead, but with Mike, they've both got 17 points. It's a tie. We haven't had a tie in a while. There's a tie break. We haven't had a tie break in a long time. I was a big, brave boy because they had to fire as many rubber bands as possible into my dangerously positioned bum bag. Oh, I... Ah, they call that a bum bag in the UK. That's a fanny pack in North America. And I know fanny is uh, not a good word in the UK. Jamali wins. Good for him. This is what we've learned today. <laughs> oh, that noise. See you again soon. For now, though, here's tonight's oh, winner once more. That's the Jamali real noise. It makes me cringe. Wow. <sighs> it, it lived up to the hype. Taskmaster, they were hyping this episode on Twitter before it before it dropped, before it aired, and uh, that was everything I could hope it would be. That 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 whole hemorrhoid episode was just amazing. Uh, man, this this show's so much fun, and I, every time I watch. I, I can't help but think how something like this, it, it doesn't surprise me at all that the, the American version failed terribly because there's just something so British about the show that can't be replicated. Some, some, some British shows can be replicated in the US. You have to, you have to twi twist and turn and tweak, but you can do it. The Office worked in the UK, it worked in the US, but some things, Maybe they just haven't found the right formula, but I can see why a show like this may never properly hit in the U.S. Um, speaking of shows that hit in the U.K., this was episode six. There's only four episodes to go, and I'm starting to think about what I'll be uh, reacting to next in, in, in this slot. And I want to keep in the, the British game slash panel show genre. And a ton of you guys have been recommending that I check out would I lie to you? And enough of you have brought it up in the comment section and such that I'm pretty confident that that's what I'll be doing next. My question slash fear is there are 14 seasons of it online right now. 
do I do I start with that with season one, episode one, or does it make more sense to do the most recent season? I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts down below. Chime in whatever you think I should do next, and um, you know whichever sort of comment or idea gets the most likes. That's probably what I'll do. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. I, I look forward to Taskmaster all week. I, I can't wait to react to it as soon as it drops on YouTube. Thank you guys for coming along for the ride and laughing and uh, just having a good time with me. So take care, be healthy. We'll see you soon. Cheers.